And we are playing on the Switch today, which is different, but go with the game. Super, I feel like. Let's go! Game may not be suitable for other people due to the discussion. Violence. I'm not going to make the virtual quiz tonight. Yes, I know it's your birthday and we do it every year. Ooh. And I realise that it starts in a couple of seconds. Yes, yes, I'm an adult now and I make my own choices. And I shouldn't be petrified of telling my mum how I really feel. Oh, great. <laughs> Don't be late. He doesn't want to go. It's all started with a family event. Oh, we got an incoming message. Hi, Uncle Marcus. I didn't expect to hear from you. Hey, kid. Listen, I'm really sorry that I missed you at the family meeting last week. Work had this big case and I, I tried to tell them that it was my last chance to see you. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. I know, but I, I really wanted to see you before you went back to LA. I've not seen you in so long. I'm sorry too. More than you can possibly believe. Okay. What's up? Did something happen at the meeting? I mean, oh, the meeting she canceled. Marcus Club shouting at you about how they could run the business better than you. Yeah. Something did happen. And that's why I needed to talk to you, Abby. I need your help. Yeah, of course. Okay. Anything. You know that. Um, what do you want me to do? I need you to investigate a murder. Oh, oh this is a prank, right? Who done it situation? I wish. Murder? Who's been killed? Me. Huh? Ooh. I I don't I don't Shocking. understand. Shocking. Abby, I'm dying. And it was someone at the family meeting. The family? No. <laughs> no. My doctors one have confirmed meeting to miss. It. it's the only possible time it could have happened. Someone who was at the family meeting poisoned me. I don't know who, and I don't know how. I don't know how he's alive, though. But they did. But can't they treat you? Can't they... They don't know what the poison was. They're working on it, but they can't start treating me until they know. Well, there must be something that they can do. Uh, uh, I There's did a lot nothing. of hard living in the 80s, kiddo. My body ain't what it used to be. And if they were to treat me with the wrong thing, that could kill me. Sorry, kiddo. How... how long... How long have I got? They say it's hours. This can't be real. That's why I oh, need to help, Abby. I need you to find out who did this tonight. Me? No, I... I can't. I mean... How? <laughs> the quiz! Everyone's gonna be there, Abby. You need to question them. Find out who in the family wants me dead. What if what if they find out what I'm doing? What what will they think? Abby, I'm dying. Who cares what they think? This is kind of interesting though. Let me ask you a question, kid. Interesting. Why are you working in law? That's a good question. Because, because mom, the family, they, they decided to that that's what I should do. Exactly. And if you weren't part of this fucked up family, and you weren't still looking for their approval, what would you be doing? You know what? Yeah, I know what. I just want you to say it again to I'll make sure you haven't loud. forgotten. I don't know. want to design games. So you need to shake them off, Abby. This whole oh, game design is amazing. <laughs> well, you didn't shake them off too well. One of them's trying to kill you. Okay, you got, you got a point there, kiddo. It's true. Oh, huh? shit. Mom's calling me. Don't answer it. Ooh. I mean, you have to answer it. Come right? on, Abby. Ignore her, please. I gotta answer the phone. She knows how to leave a message. I gotta answer it. Oh, we are not answering Sorry. it. Hi, Mom. Any particular reason you're making me wait on my birthday? Sorry, Mom. I'm, I'm just getting ready. I don't ask for much, Abby, but I do ask that you respect Oh, family. very nice. Family is everything to me. As, As your grandfather, God rest his soul, used to say, there's okay. me and there's you. And, and the, the family is the glue. glue. Oh, you remember it. Well, I suggest you start acting like it. Yes, ma'am. Hurry up. Different. 
Wow. You're right. <laughs> you really needed to answer that. Well, I'm I should really important. get to the quiz before mom kills me. That was a good joke. I know. You literally can do this. kill you. I believe in you, Abby. You know them. You know what makes them tick, right? Use that to your advantage. What if I screw it up? Well, I am betting my life like, happening. Oh, no. Okay. I'll try. I'll be here. Listen. <clears throat> I'll help as much as I can. Remember, Abby. Find if my the poison. Bees. Got it. Find, find the, the poison. Find the proof. Find the killer. And find the killer. Oh. Yeah, that's easy. Sure, sure, sure. That's, that's not easy. Okay. I just don't understand why there always has to be this big song and dance about Flick's birthday. This isn't just about me, June. I don't know why, but I feel like the game is sticking around. I'm so sorry. It's about us, the family. Spending quality time together. The family. And I'm sorry we don't do the same thing on your birthday. Not sure anyone really remembers when it is. Hi. Oh, Abby, is that the big entrance you made us sit around for? I mean, there's two Sorry, people Mom. missing, though. Right, now we're all here together. Is there something everyone would like to say to me, considering what day it is? Well, we're all here, aren't we? What more do you want, a bloody parade? Oh my goodness, well, some this is an interesting family. Asshole. I thought you'd be thanking Thank me, June. Perfect excuse for a drink. What's your reason every other day of the week? You girls are as bad as each other. Oh, this camera, Put your camera down, down. Too far Not down. Better. Perfect, mummy. I think we should all sing, Mum, happy birthday. Oh, Lottie, don't be so crass. Happy birthday is so bloody depressing. I don't even like the phrase. <laughs> Do you know what they say? I'm having a party. Zorianak Zuri. Isn't that delightful? Ah, can everyone hear me? Great. Oh my goodness. Now listen, I actually think the kind birthdays are a really good time to do a little bit of a privileged audit, you know? Really take a look. And I just that's muted why him. we the mute button. So, where's Bradley the bedroom boy? Bradley, Her Royal Highness Auntie Felicity requests your presence. So do you want oh to get goodness. your palace features in front of a webcam? Oh, nice of you to dress up for the occasion, Bradley. Oh, but don't you want to wish your auntie Zori Nakzuri? I don't know what that is, but oh, yeah, happy I mean, birthday. Your birthday. If you say one syllable about birthdays just being a day closer to death, I will mute you like I muted your brother. Yeah, but that's what birthdays are, though. Signposts pointing towards the grave. Oh, you know. I'm muting everybody. Let's get on with the quiz. That's not how phone calls work. Hasn't anyone got something nice to say? Uh, happy birthday, Mum. What? Oh, Abby. Yeah. <laughs> Completely forgotten you were there. Anyway, okay, now down to the first order of business. Whose turn is it to ask the first round of questions? My turn. I pick. Oh. Well, fine. Well, we'll have to pick someone. Who hasn't done one recently? Me, 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 me. Not you. Abby, come talk to me a second. Ooh. Oh, they mute. can't even pretend to like each other for five minutes, can they? I really don't think I could do this. Look, it's only asking questions. You know them. You just need to figure out how to get them talking. Just gotta ask the right questions. Start simple. Just go back in there and see if you can figure out whose round is first. It's just like gathering evidence. Just give it a shot. Crime investigation. Okay. Look, I'm sorry, okay? Mm -hmm. This part of East Africa, it's amazing. But 4G isn't a strong point. What is happening? All I'm saying is I might cut in and out. Well, I'm not going first. It's my birthday. Your mom's on the warpath. I would just leave her alone for now. I think your best chance of success is probably speaking with Lottie, Toby. Lottie. If you're feeling brave enough, Auntie June. But Mama, maybe because it's your birthday, that's why you should go first. That's no. a weird family. Well, how about nobody goes first, and then we can all just fuck off to bed? 
Um, who do I want to talk to? I'm going to close the door real quick. Okay. So I think let's talk to Lottie. The safer route. Hi, bud. You okay? Yeah. You're a sister, uh, right? Babe. So, did you go to the meeting? What? The, uh, <laughs> the meeting? The one that was at Auntie Jean's house? Oh, the family business thing. Yeah. Yeah, I went to that. Oh my god. So much drama. <laughs> really? What happened? <gasps> Mum is raging about it. Before you came on, she said she didn't want to talk about it. And then she went off on Uncle Marcus oh for my like goodness. a solid five minutes. Honestly, if this quiz doesn't go smoothly, I think she's going to actually have a meltdown. Like, she's so embarrassing when she's like that. I'm like, calm down, take a seat, keep your wig on. <laughs> Ask about the quiz. Do you remember Keep if you it. did a, a round at the last quiz? <laughs> no, babe. I cannot remember the last time I did a round. Well, I remember from last year. <laughs> you <laughs> all meltdown about the food round. Oh, uh, yeah. Can you imagine getting that worked up about that? Oh, you should do it. Later? Well, you should do one. You'd be so good. Really? But like, yeah, hyper what would my subject be? Well, music. Like, about oh, my music? <gasps> Why not? Quiz everyone on my lyrics. Well, yeah, that sounds really great. But maybe it would be a bit difficult for, like, Nan. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. I could just do, like, a general quiz about me. That's fair, mm. right? That works. Or general questions about pop music? Oh my god, this is gonna be so awesome! <gasps> See how well you guys all know oh, me? No. You follow me on Insta. If you love my content as much as you say you do, this should be easy. <gasps> okay, see you back in the bed. Okay, that turned Bye. out to be really bizarre. We're gonna go How back. You did good, kid. You got her talking. You got this, Abby. Well, mother might have something to do with it. Okay, everyone, pick your team, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, uh, did someone just say my name? Yeah, I was asking if you wanted to... Sorry, gonna have to speak up. Signal's breaking up. Do yeah. you want to team up with me? Still can't hear anything. Do you want... Oh, Toby, just stop pricking about and team up with your brother. <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Teams? Oh, Marcus has yeah, something I... to say. I just need to go to the loo. Oh, oh Jesus Christ, Dad. Oh my goodness. Well, really has more problems place? than anything. Chaos. You play the whole thing in teams? Sort of. We pick a new team each round. Well, that doesn't make any sense. They're in the background. Yeah, I can't remember how it started. Probably some doomed attempt to make things fair or avoid another fight. You know what they're like. I sure do, kid. I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> He's dying. Okay. Oh, he's dying. Uh, I've been better. You better go pick a team. I'm gonna be dead by the time I finish. Oh, I'm, I'm not, not starting with mummy. I'll be I'll... through this bottle before the first question. Well, you getting through that bottle has nothing to do with mum. Girls, behave yourselves. Only for cameras. What would your father say if he saw you like this? Why do you have to bring daddy into everything? I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. I wanna play with Anne. Play with Anne, oh, team up with her. Gorgeous girl, how are you, love? I'm um, okay, thanks, Nan. How are you? Oh, don't worry about me. Same as usual. How's okay. work? Okay. No? Um, Met anyone recently? Uh, when am I seeing you next? Epical family. One. We'll finish our chat later, love. I was recently interviewed by fashion icon Jani O for her YouTube channel. In okay. that interview, I bravely revealed my biggest fear. What is right, what's her Crikey. biggest fear? She used to hate spiders, didn't she? Or was that you? Actually, and now I think of it, that might have been Bradley. Which one of you Everybody. is petrified of geese? Lottie is definitely scared of spiders, but she's kind of had this weird 
Thea for a while about going bold. What a silly girl. Although I don't know if she'd admit that in the interview. Or in this quiz. I wish she was more like you, Abby, love. <laughs> She's been spoiled by her father too much. That's her problem. I can see her going, like the going bald part. I can see that happening more than the spiders. Let's go going bald. Alright, right, let's try boldness. Maybe she's being honest. Okay, love, if that's what you think. Wait, it's probably spiders, though, let's be honest. Okay, I just need to wait for everyone to submit an on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Abby! Do you think that's funny? No. I can't oh. think she can hear you. <gasps> Can't believe you said that. Shit, which oh. button lets me speak to her? Lottie, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. I just, I, I, mean, I thought. We made her mad. Block out the doubters, block out the negative vibes. Question two. Oh, she doesn't this like, like this. from my interview with Jani O. Oh, she asked me, what is my greatest achievement to date? This might be a bit easy for some of you. But I already I screwed up the first one. Interview, won't I? Did you watch it, love? No. Yeah, I meant to. Oh dear. Well, she, she was really happy when she, she grew old enough to drink. drink. Maybe that's it. We can talk about the meeting. Nan. But the answer should be quite easy. Something. Of course, love. So the answer is being interviewed by Jani O. What else could I say? She is an icon. What happened at the meeting the other night? Okay. It's like love. Too much this going on. Love to bicker. Did you notice anything different? Well, I've never seen your auntie June drink so much, and that's saying something. She yes. seemed far more anxious about the meeting than she okay. normally is. Super killer. Don't know what she was expecting. I mean, your mother was planning to tell Marcus that she wanted to buy him out. That's but normal. But before everything started, June said to me that it was going to be the end of the road for Marcus. She can't have thought he'd give up his share in the mm -hmm. family business that easily. I'm going with Andy. Okay, I still don't have question three yet, so just like, I don't know, chill, I'll let you know. Was their meeting mostly arguments, like usual? It was a bit of a disaster Interesting. to be your Auntie June knocked one of her huge candles right into Marcus's lap. What kind of smell it was. Don't know why anyone would want that in their home. She must have to light another candle to get rid of the stench. Toby threw his drink over Marcus to put the flames out. It's but it didn't family. work. So your mother had to throw another drink over him. Thankfully that worked. But then Marcus said he burned his hand. Fair play to Lottie. She was the quickest to react. They she burned got a cold cloth and put it on the wound. And Bradley got some painkillers for Marcus. Then what would Could be Bradley. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, question three. I recently modelled in the publicity campaign for which product? Gosh, any ideas, love? Yeah, I, th mm. I think it's this makeup brand. Well, sort of. She's She's been spamming her followers with emails about it. I signed up to a mailing list as a favour. Regretting it now, I bet. Probably, but... but... Yeah. Lottie <gasps> keeps Ooh, trying to make dying. me get an email, but I'm not falling for it. This bald bloke on BBC One keeps going on about how the internet is essentially a giant scam. <sighs> what was the question? Some, something about makeup? Let's just answer yeah, the question. I'm sure it's called Dark Genie Virtual I gotta get eyeshadow. back on the good side. Sure. What does that mean? Basically, it's kind of like a, a filter that you pay for and um, you superimpose your photo with this eyeshadow, but it doesn't really exist. Well, That's except weird. for this virtual brand. Anyway, it makes you look like you're wearing this like glittery, magical eyeshadow. Sorry, Abby, you've lost me. Oh my I goodness. lost you too. Shall I just answer? Just answer. Probably correct. The answer is Dark Genie Virtual Eyeshadow. Trust me, it's the future. I can wear whatever I want and I never have to wash my face. And everyone on my mailing list. Oh, it's all the digital stuff. 10% off their first purchase, but the offer ends this month, so hurry quick. Shall I get some? <laughs> no, Grandma. Grandma Question doesn't four, guys. It. So, which famous musician recently DM'd me for a hookup? What's a hookup? I really don't want to say oh. the next thing, is it? <laughs> Not sure if this is a clue, but he was staying at the Hilton and he asked me to meet him in his car. <laughs> Apparently that's like his thing. Oh, 
Is that going to help us? Do you think this is at all appropriate for a family occasion? You think your nan wants to hear this? I don't mind. She's only young. Let her have I her fun. This kind of behaviour is unbecoming to our family, Lottie. No one's saying you're not entitled to a sex life, but you shouldn't be shouting about it. Your mother's just jealous, Lottie, because her sex life's about as active as the surface of the moon. And you're just batting them away, oh, aren't you, Jim? Family. <laughs> You've probably dried up down there. Girls, you're embarrassing yourselves now. Honestly, I do not want to go to one. Someone else can have a go. At least I tried. If that's over, I'm going for a wee. Okay. To our love. Bye, Nan. Everyone's leaving. And we found out that... I am never been... teaming up with that freak again. I was only trying to make conversation. Uh, have you told Mum about your latest purchase? What purchase? Huh? He's bought a gun. Mum, literally the very gun that was used to murder that famous astronaut. Why? It's not the exact gun, it's the same make of gun. Right? I don't think you can do oh, it. For God's sake, you two. If I have to listen to you bickering anymore, I'm going to come up to Bradley's room and blow my own brains out. Oh no, I'm on the ants. Your grandma sure loves to talk, but it wasn't all meaningless. Plus, I have some news that. Ooh, don't, oh. don't you dare. He's dying. He's dead. I'm gonna oh. kill him. That could really help us. The doctors have managed to narrow the poison down to three possibilities. Which is? So let's check out everything that we have so far. Oh, of course, you got a message. Poison possibilities. The painkillers? Okay, this is all medicine. Doesn't help me. So we've only uncovered one third. Of the interview? What? It's my? Yeah, signal's not great here, guys, okay. so uh, I'd rather do my round later. I can give it a go, as long as someone explains the rules to me again. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I'll do my round. Let's try and bring some order and civility back to proceedings, shall we? Can mm. I even say a bit of class? <laughs> I okay. shall perform. A piece of music. One of the classics. Gold! Spandau Ballet. One point to me. No, I mean the true classics. No, true! That's another one. Two points to me. I'm talking about Mozart, Bach, Chopin. Actual geniuses. You don't care about geniuses. You only cared about Spandau Ballet and the saxophone players' tight trousers. Well, this may come as a shock oh, to you, June, but some people's tastes mature with age. You're right. And you have. Aged. What are we playing? I feel like they're always a bickering at each other. Melody, and, and you, you must, must simply tell me the name of the piece, or to make it easier for the slow ones, just tell me the name of the composer. So we're playing name that tune. Yes, mother, if you like. Fancy being with me, June. There's nothing I'd like more than to repeatedly explain no, what's going on to a slightly senile old woman over a dodgy internet connection. I mean, it's one of my favourite things. Well, I might ask a few questions. Well, come along then. Let's get it over with. I can't team up with her. Nimini pimini, nimini pimini. I want to go with Lonnie. Millicent millipede multiplied majestically. Millicent millipede multiplied majestically. Uh, What's happening? Uh, Let's play with Bradley. Because he gave him the pain meds. And if the poison is part. Hey Bradley, how are you? Uh, who's that on your t-shirt? Well, you've never heard of Keith Wilson Keys before. Should no. I? Yeah, he killed six people in one weekend. Medford, Oregon, 1997. They called him the killer. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, him. He's a, he's a good one. Oh, I didn't realise that they put serial killers on t-shirts. No, 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 he's, he's not, he's not a serial killer. He's a spree killer, and, uh... Is there a difference? You can get a lot more than this if you know where to look. Everyone be quiet and listen carefully. Pretty much black market. La 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 I have no idea. I know this. I think it's Beethoven. La 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 I mean, I guess Beethoven's a pretty safe bet because it's either going to be him or Mozart, right? I mean, Bradley's going to give us nothing. 
Let's talk to Brad anymore. Should I go with me. Beethoven then? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I know Beethoven died in a thunderstorm and you can still visit his grave, so... Um... Well, I'll just go for him then. So nothing. Dang it. Answer's in. Yes, a pretty straightforward one to start. That was the sumptuous Fur Elise by the magnificent Beethoven. Okay. It's number two. La 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 la. I don't la. recognize any of this. La 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 la. Mum really got into that one, didn't she? She just doesn't want to talk. Do you know her? I don't know the name, but it sounds like one of the ones your mum played the other night. Why do people listen to happy music when they're not even happy? It just makes you feel worse. Does it know? though? Does it make me feel worse? I have to a meeting. Uh, Mum played this at the meeting. I think so. Oh, yeah, message. I know what you're doing. Oh no, someone's Abby. on to us. <laughs> what are you doing? You gotta get, get back, back to the quiz, Abby. Abby! Uh, Somebody's on to us. He muted me and I wasn't even saying anything. What are you looking at? Nothing. A message. Uh, what were we talking about? Nothing. Right, yeah. No, wait, you were uh, saying that mum played this song at the meeting. I mean, ha uh, how was the meeting? When everyone was really angry. Um, Why? We lost, he was acting strange too. She, she's got two phones now. Two? Mm -hmm. Looked to me like a burner phone. Do you know what that is? I think so. Private, untraceable, you know, handy if you She wouldn't have any need to kill him. Something. That you don't want anyone else to know about. And I never thought Lottie would choose something like that. And it's not the kind of phone that takes photos. That's more. She gave it to her. You need to know all the information you can do. Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah. This next piece is so obvious, I consider well, not doing anything. It, but for some reason, it's been going round in my head. Perhaps this will get it out of my system. La 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 la. Oh, I can never remember the name. Funeral march. It's Funeral March by Chopin. Oh. It's one of my favourites. All right, yeah. Nice. It's, uh, it's a good one. La, 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 la. I think the answer. I don't think you have to answer him correctly. That piece was the incredibly moving Funeral March by okay. Chopin. I already that. know what I'm doing for my fourth piece, so be quiet. No! Oh, Her voice no, is gone. No. The humidity's changed. I can't see in this. I could sprain something. Let's move on to the next round. I was surprised you weren't at the meeting. Aren't you Uncle Marcus's biggest cheerleader? Uh, yeah, no, I, I really wanted to be there. Was just, plan. There was this thing at work and... You should have been there. He needed you. What are you saying? Everybody else hates him. The whole family, apart from you. I mean, my mum spends most of her time thinking about how much she hates him. After too many drinks, she starts rambling about him, talking about how he's ruined Grandad's legacy, how a company should have come to her or your mum. <laughs> really? Once, when it was really bad, she asked me if I knew how to hire a hitman. She thought maybe I'd know something from the black internet. <laughs> like, she meant dark web, obviously. I asked her she why she wanted something. to know. She just said she saw it in a film once. And uh, yeah, it was the last time she mentioned it, at least to me. Interesting. Bradley? Definitely the June. Something. Definitely in June. I don't know. Maybe. Well, that's not an answer. <laughs> Shit. That's some evidence. I don't want to look at what evidence we found. Oh, it's only those two. You can accuse when you have enough evidence. But right now we're leaving the Aunt June. You know, she has two phones. I wonder if there's more than one killing. Fabulous birthday so far, Plague. Do you think we're actually going to finish a single round this evening? Uncomfortable silence. My favourite. So weird. Urgent. What's happening? I haven't figured out anything. 
you value your life, stop asking questions. Abby! Jesus Christ, what the hell? So me. So bad. Oh. The killer! I got an email, anonymous, they no, told me to Abby. stop or... or... Oh my god, I, I can't do this. I'm afraid it is too late for that. No, I can't, I told you. Abby! No, I'm not built for this shit! What are they gonna do to me? Abby, stop! Stop! Oh no. Well, ah. oh, Marcus? Dead. Oh. Are you okay? It's getting worse, Abby. I've got less time than I thought. Don't give up on me. The only, only chance I got. True, but I feel like he's gonna Please, die. Abby. Please. He's gonna die. Okay. Alright, I actually completed him. Nice. Perfect okay. round. Listen the up, grandma guys. has more information. Uh, my signal seems to have settled down a bit, yeah? So let's do my round now. But listen, I've got a pretty cool new spin on how to... Everyone get in teams. Right, yeah, 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 sure, cool. Yeah, let's start there. Uh, Lottie, will you... Ew. No. Don't let her talk to you like that, Bradley. Well, you say worse to him every day. The other day you called him a slug. That was affectionate. At least my Bradley's not a brainless, stuck-up little moron like Lottie. I'm oh not stuck-up. Do you, you ever speak to my daughter like that again? Oh, and I'll... Flick, I didn't know you'd suddenly become interested in your children. Stop. I'll, like, team up with Bradley, whatever, if it'll save another argument. Cool. Let's just make this clear. Oh, my goodness. You can team up with me, but that does not... I mean, you can talk to me. Okay. We're gonna expand some minds Whose team guys. am I gonna be? <laughs> hey, Auntie Felicity. Look, just give me a chance, and I might just change your life for the better, yeah? Toby, the only way you can make my life better is if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> Let's talk to Mum, because I don't want to do Auntie June if she's a killer. How's it she going, Mum? She tell me How anything. Good? Bad. Very bad. This quiz has been a disaster so far. But I'm getting to the end of this round, no matter what. Well, it's just nice to do something on your birthday. It's true. Well, none of us would be nice. here if it wasn't for you. No, Family no, you event. wouldn't. Okay, listen up, guys. We're doing what I like what to call in? empathy scenarios. It's kind of quiz, you know, like kind of truck. workshop type thing. So I'm going to give you a scenario, and you can score points by how well you empathize, okay? That doesn't make any sense. Show me the empathy. <laughs> Tell you care. Okay, first scenario, please. Feeling. Imagine that you're humble people. I know that's, that's a pretty hard ask for some people in this family. So, you're humble people. You've lived in the same tiny fishing village your entire Aww. lives, and you're facing the twin threats of globalization and climate change. You're losing the fish. Is that it? Food. I think so. What's the question? Remember, guys, we're looking for empathy here. Points for empathy. Oh, how am I supposed to just conjure up empathy? I have no idea. I mean, they're all going to die in the village. Type thing. Are we supposed to act it out? Yes, Mum. That that must be it. You're. You're a genius. Well, if he wants a performance, mm. I'll give him a performance. But if I humiliate myself and Toby, Toby still makes me lose this bloody quiz, empathy. Nodding. Nodding. Is, is that empathy? I think so. I don't think <laughs> Mum has anything to tell you, so let's talk with Toby. Sorry, Toby, this is just supposed to be a bit of fun for Mum's quiz. Do we really need to think about this admittedly very important and very sad stuff now. See, it's that kind of attitude that makes doing this the wrong so thing. important. Yeah? Now, imagine this. A mystery illness starts sweeping through your little fishing village. Ooh, actually, I've got do? some uh, resources that might help you engage with the subject, okay? Um, let me just uh, Does he have this, you. like, pictures? Uh, uh, let me just catch up to where we were. Hello. Okay, okay, so the symptoms of the disease are vomiting. Oh my goodness. And diarrhea. Why yeah. is this? Toby, turn that off right now. The people of oh this fishing goodness. village can't just turn it off, Auntie Felicity. Toby, turn that off right 
fucking. No. I love him, Rim. How are you? Okay, so we won't use the resources. <sighs> Why did I actually for something? What is this? I have no idea. Sweeping I'm solving a murder. Village, but the nearest hospital is 200 miles away. What emotional toil does that take? Do you want to stop, Mum? No, I'm not looking at pictures of shit without getting some yeah. points. If he wants a performance, I'll give him a performance. So, we're trying to solve a mystery on who killed Marcus. And so far we're on Auntie June. She wanted to hire a hitman and Lottie, who somehow has two phones, but I don't think she did it. The devil is here! The devil is in our homes! He comes at night, comes to snatch us away! How will our poor little fishing <laughs> it was the devil. go? That's crazy. You heard the no, talk. That was amazing. Mm. Yeah, I've never been much of a one for improvisation, but you know, maybe I underestimate myself. We must protect the children! Nailed it. Auntie Felicity? Yes. That's actually really reductive, yeah? It's even pretty offensive, you know? I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to take five points off you. You can't deduct points. <laughs> it's my round. It's Don't my quiz. Points. And you're not taking a single point off me, you arrogant prat. Just ask a question, Toby, an actual question. A normal, proper question. Uh, I guess I can just continue complimenting here. I don't know what else Mom, to do. Mum, if it was up to me, I'd give you ten points. No, a million points. Get your nose out of my arse, Abby. You know I can't abide false praise. Uh, so let me get this straight. What, what you're saying is, is that you lack the basic human decency to understand another person's struggle, yeah? Shut up, Toby. <laughs> There are other people in the it's world like the in this you. family. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we here for Hilda the Fisherwoman's birthday? Well, no. But Toby, let me stop you there. Is the next thing you're going to say a question? An actual question? The kind of thing you'd get in a quiz. I've got a different scenario about mating turtles. No, I'm sorry, Toby. You've had your chance. I am you're doing done. a problem. Oh, we got kicked. Another disaster. Why do I what? even bother? I try to do something nice, something selfless for this family. I know, Mum. This family has too much drama. Know. Is that your total contribution? Sure, why not? Christ, Abby! Oh, let me get a word in. Wait, wait, <laughs> Mum. I I need to tell you something. Something really bad has happened to Uncle Marcus. I'm not interested. No, but he's the man's a liar, Abby. I always is... hoped you wouldn't fall for it, and perhaps I, I should have done something when you were younger, but it wasn't easy for me, either. After your father died, I thought, oh, if you want to turn to Uncle Marcus and not me, perhaps I should let you. Either you realise what it was like, or... Mum, what are you talking about? You really don't see it, do you? He's paranoid, Abby. Deceitful, always painting himself as the good guy, the victim. <laughs> The drama a few never years ends. Ago, he a business partner was trying to kill him. He was sent all these threatening emails, anonymous emails. Wouldn't surprise me if Marcus was the one writing them. What? He went mad. He bought a gun. He bought a guard dog. It was all bullshit. Completely in his head. No, I, I don't, I don't understand. It's he... all an act, Abby. I don't think it would be an act to kill himself with don't poison. Get I don't think it's an act. They're all just ending it though. Well, um, now where do we go? Oh, she's just leaving. Kid, we need to talk. Abby, please. Please. I mean, it sounds like he's dying. If we had more time, I could explain. You said this was real. It is real. How can I trust you? How can I trust anything that you say now? I'm not paranoid. Some guy was making threats. It wasn't in my head. Oh, okay, so maybe I took the threats a little too seriously, but how was I supposed to know? <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't even talk now. How was I supposed to know he wasn't going to follow through? How was I supposed to know that? As far as I was concerned, the guy was nuts. And then June got a hold guy. of it, Abby, and the whole thing got twisted. <laughs> I, I, I don't yeah. know why I didn't tell you. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't want to scare you. 
So why are you telling me this time? This time? Abby? It just doesn't make any sense. You, you tell me the story that someone's tried to kill you, and now, now I find out that you've done this before. This is not the same. Uh, how? Abby, I'm fucking dying! It's definitely darker than- oh. This health go down. He's in poison. Look. Abby, you either trust me or you don't. And if you don't, then this whole thing is done. And you're never gonna know the whole story. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Abby? Just Not know gonna this. know the story after this. I'm the only person in this family that would never fucking lie to you. Huh. Can we trust him? I don't see why not. I believe you. You should trust you him this whole time so far. That, Abby. Especially with how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Who cares about so, the story? Listen, I think I managed I don't know to I have enough information to understand stuff. the story. Um, are you okay? How many spiders do you see on my hand? None. Just answer the question! I, I, I don't see any spiders. Fuck. Oh, he's Shit, going insane. No, I, 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 I'm crude here. Ah, it's going from my eye. I, I, I can't see anything. <laughs> I think that's possible. There's nothing there. Are you sure? Yeah. The hallucinations have started then. Doc says once I start seeing things, you can count how long I have left in minutes. Oh. I'm gonna kill him. By accident. I've got nothing from that round. Are you kidding me? Oh, this isn't looking good. I better get back in there then. Wait. I'm sorry. I don't have enough evidence. I to help you much longer. <coughs> Uncle Mark. Don't be coughing up blood now. Please don't. What is it? I'm out of time. He's dying. No use pandering to their egos anymore, kid. I won't be around long enough. If you want to save me, you gotta find the truth. I don't know the truth. Good luck, good luck, kid. I found nothing. I found three things. Man. Terrible. I guess this is it. And nobody That's in the family cares. Not. I'm telling you, I can do it. This quiz has been enough of a disaster so far. Oh, let your sister have a go. It could be chaos. Look at her. She's just had a couple of drinks. No oh, harm she's in been that. Doing. A couple of drinks. She's had a cellar full. Look, nobody has anything ready. But I do. I have questions. Lots and lots of questions. What I just think. I team up with you, Mum. Oh, I just know I'm going to regret this. Okay. You are going to play nicely, aren't you, June? Of course I am. I always play nicely. Mm. Do you I feel like Bradley's not going to tell us anything. And Toby might not either. Actually, none of them probably would. I don't know. I mean, we haven't talked to Toby yet, so let's go with him. You know, I don't think he's going to say anything. Hi, Toby. What was that? Uh, me? No, I thought I heard something outside the van. I'm sure you're fine. I like monkeys. I think we're okay. The spiders. Be careful with these militias. No, of course not. Probably the spiders. Okay, everybody, respectfully shut up and listen to me. Question one: what How happened? many times? Did Toby tell the school counsellor that I was neglecting? Oh God, here we so go. So that we'd be forced into another family therapy session and he could get to see his dickhead father. I know this sounds bad, but I only had the idea after she actually neglected me. I told the counsellor that mum forgot to cook me tea because she was so drunk, which was the truth. And he organised the oh, first session. I mean, if she'd just let me see dad in the first place, I wouldn't have had to lie about the rest.
I gotta ask about the meeting. What I need more information. The meeting? Just tell me everything. Why are you asking me? Ask your sister. She was the only one I saw alone with him, okay? She was putting something in his hand. I don't know what, but he looked pretty uncomfortable. Well, he burned his hand. So, for those of you that ventured to answer, That's the so correct cool. answer is six times. All because I wouldn't let him see the man who cheated on me, who cheated on us for seven years. She's really gone over the edge. Question two. How many of my boyfriends has Felicity stolen? Oh, now, I'm going to make it easier for you. Let's just count the ones while we were at school. <laughs> Jesus! Our mums are a nightmare, aren't they, Alice? I mean, that's why I'm so glad I had my dad. You know, he helped balance me out. He gave me my moral compass. Wasn't he done for tax fraud? Everyone makes mistakes, Abby. Dad was always okay, there yeah. for me when I really needed him. Was tech you know, apart from that 18 months, of course. Be but he was better than a lot of dads I can think of. Well, some of you clearly think very highly of Flick and rather less of me. Well, let me tell you. I had oodles of boyfriends. Felicity was just scavenging my scraps, but there were plenty of scraps to scavenge. You got to think bigger. Let's keep asking Toby. Did you see anyone else give something? You need more information. I don't know. Toby? Tell me now. Uh, 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 Felicity. I mean, you know, oh, your mom, honey. yeah, she was um, offering things uh, for him to eat, you know, hors d'oeuvres, canapes, that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, I think he, I think he took one in the end just to shut her up. I don't think that would be poisonous, Abby, though. I need you. I like it. It's just I don't know what's going what on. What is it? What's the matter? Time's up. Doc says if I take the right antidote. Now, I might just make it. He's dead. I don't have anything. I can't trust my brain right now, kiddo. I need you to pick one. It's okay, Abby. Whatever happens. I don't know which choose. one. Please. Wow, okay. I do like these games. Like, this type of game is something I'm really like. And this one's actually really good. And I recognize some of the characters from the other... There is a news. But which one is it? I can do the family tree. So we have Grand Dad Eddie, who's just Spanish. We got Nan and Market, her sister, which is where Uncle Marcus comes from. And I got our mom, Aunt June, and her kids, Bradley, Toby, and then Lottie. Now, oh, so which one do we go with? Because, let's face it, I, I don't know. We just pick one randomly and hopefully it's the poison. Um... I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, none of these make any sense to me, but you told me there is a possible poison. So let's just pick the first one, hopefully it works well. I don't know. Polonium 210. Thanks, kid. Okay. It's also really interesting. Because these games were, at least this one, was made during lockdown. Hopefully he doesn't die. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. We have to watch this. He's Marcus. dead. Just killed him. We just killed him. No. no. Um. Wow. Well. You did this. I won't let you down again. <laughs> again. I'm not gonna find the person. I don't think I am. But we found something. Body gave something to Marcus, which should be the stuff for his burned hand. 
But then mom gave Marcus food. I don't know what that means. It could just be food. I don't have enough evidence. Yeah, pretty much game over. I don't have anything. Well, where the hell have you been? Dang it. Which one of you did it? Abby, are you okay? Who did it? Abby, explain yourself. He's dead. He's fucking dead. Nobody knows what's going on. Who? Who murdered Uncle Marcus? Who was it? Who did it? Abby, love, calm down. What is happening? No, no they did, they did, Nan, they fucking did it. Abby, cut this out now. Who's the fucking murderer? Right, that's enough, I warned you once. Are you gonna mute me? You fucking bastards! Abby's gonna be the next one to die. That's game over, because I don't have enough evidence. I don't have anything. Just watching. I gotta turn that off. Sorry. So stop watching it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Man, this sucks. Let's speak with Aunt June. I want to know more about her. I know nothing about this person, except for she could probably kill him. I mean, yeah, they all seem suspicious. All sus. Hi, Auntie June. I uh, haven't. I think seen only her for one while. of them did it. How have you been? Remarkable. Of all the conversational starters in the English language, that's the one you plump for. It's riveting. Oh, sorry. I I was going it's to. So ask mean. That. Just leaves. Okay. So mean. Uh, that was a disaster. I've had worse conversations with June. When I was 12, she cut up my shoelaces with a pair of scissors in front oh my of me. Goodness. And I was just sitting there thinking, I hope she stops at the shoelaces. Maybe try something different next time. Maybe next sure time. Next time. <laughs> you gotta give it a try, kiddo. It makes you do it For multiple now, times. Come on, let's get back to the quiz. So who's gonna be the first one doing it? Oh, I can't stand this. If no one's going to volunteer, then I'll just decide. Lottie, you can go. I haven't okay. heard anything. The next words out of your mouth better be, yes, mum, or so help me, God. Yes, mum. I don't think that's up soon. Ooh, okay, I know. Um, yeah. I've got like a live Q&A next month with Studio Magazine, so you guys can help me prep. Just ask a fucking question, Lottie. Okay, everyone pick your team, please. I want to play with Auntie June. Yeah, that's the second go at her, you know. Okay, get somewhere. ready. Question one. You need to get Ryan somewhere. Legend Capsi recently described my debut track as thick. But what is the track called? Or is that too easy? Uh, no, I think it's okay. Let's start easy and see how we go. All right. Oh, I completely zoned out of that. What was the question? Uh, what is Lottie's song called? Uh, songs from a Strangulated cat, ballad of a teenage narcissist. Ho. Oh. <laughs> really doesn't like anybody. I do know what it's called. She's rammed it down our throats enough times. It's called vibing it. Mm. What does that even mean? Sounds like a massage chair <laughs> or a sex toy. Uh, let's just say who knows. Let's agree. Why are you on her side? Don't know what it means. You I think heard Lottie it. just thought that it sounded good. Yes, well, I don't want to debate it with you. Just answer the quiz. Okay. I just, I need her to talk. I need information and I'm not gonna get anywhere. So, my first track is called Vibin' It. There must be a lot of fans here because nobody got it wrong. <laughs> yes, All right. nothing to do with the fact she's been torturing us with it for months. Question two. This one's going to be a bit more tricky, but I'm sure you all know it. So I recently designed a magazine shoot around my favourite book. What is it? Does Lottie read? Can Lottie read? She can't have got much further than The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Oh my goodness. Probably too advanced. Did she ever master the alphabet or did she get arrested at I? That would explain a lot. I think it might be The Hunger Games. Or at least that's the only book that I know Lottie's... Definitely read. She was going to read the rest of them, but then the films came out, so 
Yeah, she, she just um, old now. She does not like anybody in this family. I can't have the options. Answer is the Hunger Games. Oh, good book so series though. So good. Like once you've read the Hunger Games, why read anything else? I haven't. Uh, let me just think about. I don't think that's what reading is. I wish you had been at the meeting, just to see the look on your face. What do you mean? Well, the films were good too. Your precious Uncle Marcus tell you. What? He burnt his hand. Poor lamb. Well, I burnt his hand accidentally, but I rather wish I'd thought of it. What? What happened? Well, I like all of them. Stumble, and no. I knocked one of my cans. They match the book pretty well too. Marcus and. Straight away, his jumper just whoosh, up in flames. Now, quality clothing does not burn. Yeah, the like third one that. is probably so the just most. Just to show, doesn't matter how much that. money that man makes, he will never not be a cheap skate tight ass. Anyway, Toby claims he was just trying to douse the flames, so he threw his drink right in Marcus's face, nowhere near the flames. So then your mother threw her drink on him as well, which no, did put out the fire, which is. Kind of a shame, I'm but Marcus sorry. started wailing like a girl about his hand. He was in agony, so Lottie ran in with a wet rag and started rubbing it all over his bird. Oh, so then your nana got yeah. and started bandaging his hand, and then Bradley came in with some painkillers, and the fun was sort of over really. Then, which was I don't remember the cap, I remember now. Sad, but you know, if it had been just me, I'd have left him to it, but. He did look like he'd been dragged through a hedge backwards and forwards again. Very entertaining. Question three. According to a recent poll from my fans. Third one's also like, I think the saddest one oh, in the right. series. Now, so this is the bit when she starts bragging about her singing voice, isn't it? Actually, I think Lottie might think greatest strength means something else. Like what? I think she means her eyebrows. <laughs> um, I mean, why are we even playing along with this? These aren't questions. She's just manipulating us into giving her praise and compliments. It is pathetic. Where we go? I guess eyebrows. I do honestly think she'll say her eyebrows. That's the answer, I guess. Got an all the ones I would pick her up. The answer is obviously my eyebrows. Good lord, she's worse than I thought. I was really surprised when my fans said that. You know, I was like. What about my legs or like my teeth or my eyes? And then I'm like, oh, yeah, lost them all too, but like it's really hard to pick a favorite. And I was like, yeah, there. What in sweet succulent hell is she talking about? Okay, so question four. I got How nothing many times out of this. Me to Dubai? Oh, Christ. Well, it's still going on. A waste of space. Honestly, you should have seen him run for the hills the second Lottie was born. Couldn't see him for dust. Now it's one holiday a year and he thinks he's the best daddy in the world. Still, I suppose most affair babies are just forgotten about, aren't they? So I should give him a tiny bit of credit for that. I bet you're bloody glad he's not your dad, aren't you? I guess so. Oh, come along, Abigail. It is very sad that your daddy died, but, but it's been years now. But I just had to get over it when my daddy died. No moping about for me. And do you know the answer to this question? I can work it out. Can you now? Yeah, Lottie went to Dubai for the first time for her sixth birthday. I remember it because um, she was pretty scared, so I made her this lucky charm necklace to wear on the plane for good luck. Anyway, my point uh, is that if she first went to Dubai for her sixth birthday, she's been doing the same thing every year since. Lottie's now 19. Just do the math. A simple bit of maths. 30. Put that down. Well, I was going to say 14. Yes, well, you're not exactly Carol Vorderman, are you? So just put the answer in. So it's 6. 19 minus 6 is 13. That is 13. Fine. Yeah, I'll go with 13. But then she... No, oh, it's actually 14 because it's... The it's, answer is 14 times. I did, <gasps> you did the math, but you have to add one. Terrible at math, Abigail. I didn't do anything. <laughs> But you were the one that Look, said. I said I didn't want to lose this quiz. It's gonna be fifteen in a couple of months. Oh, can't wait. I forgot about some that. Guest appearances booked while I'm out there, and some oh. fun times with like really great brands. God's sake, Lottie! Are you seriously expecting us to just sit here and listen to you brag about your? 
didn't learn anything absorbed in terminally shallow life or are you going to ask us some proper questions you know what like fuck you someone else can do a round now i mean that's the proper decision well, at least we got a few points that round i don't know why i even do these things i mean i don't care about where does this family even go together beating people still a few more of these and it'll be wiped from my memory like tears in the rain he doesn't even like going here. Film. Why bother even showing up? Oh Christ, it's not one of Lottie's lyrics, is it? Gosh, better forget that. It is better to forget things. It just makes life easier. Well, hardships. You okay. You do know there's something wrong with your sister, don't you? What, just in general? I think I'm going to say, she's playing very oddly at the meeting. You know, all night checking her phone up and down to the window. I I, I don't know what. There's she's two phones. Or who? But all night, just up and down, up and down. A bit like your mother's skirt when she was a teenager. I mean, normally I wouldn't have noticed, or or cared. But they were my windows. She was breathing all over, and it did take Bradley a very long time to clean them. Is there anything else you remember about what does that have to do with meeting? Okay. Anything, anything at all? Makes no sense. Oh, that's the end. Found evidence, though. Mm -hmm. Could play a lot to get more information. Playing with Bradley didn't really help me much in this section. Could do Toby, but I feel like he wouldn't know it. Yeah, like the pentacle. To summon demons. Hey, babe. Stuff like that. Hey, Letty, you okay? Freakiness. Just trying to figure out what I should wear for my live stream tonight. When I don't know if I should wear the million or cerulean. I'd wear the million, hundred percent. You would. I'll wear cerulean. Thanks, babe. Oh, is the opposite. Good. <clears throat> la 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 la. I have no idea what this was. I, mean, I recognize it, but I, uh, I don't know. But Takata and Fugue in D minor. I should know music this one. Oh, easy. Everybody knows classical music in this game. Yes, that was quite an easy one. Vast Stop for me. Fugue in D minor. Now let me have a little think about what I'm going to do next. <laughs> How did you know that? Don't you remember? Mum used to play it all the time when we were kids. She even put it on at a meeting. It's like her hype song. Uh, she did? <laughs> yeah. She said That's something about it helping her guard her loins, whatever that means. Yeah. I think she was probably just trying to drown out the sound of all the arguments, to be honest. I mean, I would be surprised. It feels like they always argue. So what happened at the meeting? What happened at the meeting? Only important thing in this. Too much, babe. Second piece. Okay, that's it. It's too much. Chopin, military polonaise. Really? Did did Mum play that at the uh, meeting too? Uh, Learn more yeah. about the meeting. Yeah. On your second phone. Oh, message. Oh, we got it again. I know what you're doing, Abby. <laughs> what are you doing? You gotta get, get back, back to the quiz, quiz, Abby. Abby! Dorian. Did you just mute me? Uh, no. Something about me, Nobody mutes me, babe. No, yeah, I know. No one. Um, sorry. I had a message. The answer I was looking for there was Chopin and his military polonaise. We got that one right, Abby, too. I'm very surprised you knew that. You're getting some help from someone. Don't tell her I told you the answer. But, but oh yeah, I'll just pretend. Answer. Just don't tell her I told you, okay? I'll just pretend to know it. Um, just a lucky guess, Mum. Right, I'm starting my next piece now, whether you're ready or not. That way, then hopefully Lottie would be nicer to us. <laughs> oh my god! In the world? No, I think she's pressed something. Oh my god! What the filter? <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst Who thing. did this? Uh oh. <laughs> Speak up! Mom, I, I think you put a filter on accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That was uh, ruined. Now! I can't even remember what she did. <laughs> oh wait, two seconds. Uh, uh, Mozart, Rondo Alla Chaka. Who really knows? That's How do you know all of these? 
Where I've seen some of these like same actors in here. That though. was Mozart's Rondo Alataka. I need a moment to consider my next piece. This is Very really clean. great, Lottie. I had no idea. I have no idea what these are. So. Classical music. Oh yeah, I love it, Han. Love it. That last one used to be my ringtone when I was a kid. I just like listened to it over and over and over. Ask her what she means. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've got an app on my phone, babe. It's recognizing all the songs for us. No one uses oh. it for ring anymore. Obviously. <gasps> well, let's not waste any more She's time. cheating. Oh, oh, Christ. I think I strained something. Oh, you, this, none of this is worth me doing any serious damage to my voice. Not even a mild twinge. Someone I would not want to live right in this now. family. So, Lottie, I need to ask you something. She wants to run. Okay. Bye. Okay. Learn anything. Not a single oh, thing. Fabulous birthday so far, Flick. Do you think we're actually asking. going to finish a single round this evening? Uncomfortable silence. My favorite. Let's go with Auntie June. I need more information on her. Go ahead with her. Hi. And just like that, I've got a headache. Oh my goodness. Sorry. So we're going to mix things up here, and we're going to be doing some of the workshops that I teach in the schools, and I'll be Ooh. awarding points for empathy. Uh, okay? Jesus Christ. That's not a quiz, No, Toby. it's so much more than that. This is an exercise <laughs> where we can oh have fun goodness. and... Learn something. Just ask a question, <laughs> Toby, like a normal person. I mean, person. it could it be. Really oh, it appears. Toby, hmm. ask a fucking question. You've never supported me. Oh, God, you know what? Just, no, no. Wait there. You know, I, I knew you'd do this. Oh, with all the books in the background and stuff. Question one. Could As be a global common temperatures person. continue to rise, will it lead to an increase or a decrease in precipitation? Could see that. Rain, Toby, for With a stereotype. Say rain, just like his father. Complete, utter embarrassment. Uh, I've never seen him pay attention to rain. But, like, yeah, her situation could be, like, stereotyped to whatever type of person is. Look at the personality and all that stuff is. It could be possible. Let's do decrease. I think it might be decrease. Do I don't know. I'm the answer wrong. is increase. Obviously, things are only gonna get worse unless we act now. And you're going to lose me this quiz, aren't you, Abigail? I have to win. Okay, question two. True. To the nearest million. How far back in the Earth's history do we have to go to find global it's temperatures fun. like the ones we have today? I mean, who bloody well knows that? I'll give you a clue. The answer's pretty shocking, guys, okay? Just put something down, Abigail. You're never going to know this, are you? Okay, I'll try three million. <clears throat> this reminds me a well, lot of like the five days. The answer is, it's three million yeah. years. Yeah, good job, Abs. Oh, I guess I all my efforts are finally paying off. You know, I always knew I could get through to this family if I could just... It seems uh, like he teaches the bride. The right idea. Did you just mute him? Yes. I oh how he thinks your random guess can reflect well on him. I don't know. Looks like he's finished. Just uh, for... Uh, yeah, hang on a minute, guys. I don't... I've lost a page. Uh, yeah, yeah, just, uh, just give me a minute. We, I, I feel bad criticizing Toby. Well, let's just do a lucky guess. It was such a lucky guess, wasn't it? I can't believe that. I mean, what are the odds? Surely good for you. Well, let's hope your luck doesn't run out because you're hardly going to know any of them, are you? Probably not. All that money your mother spent on your education. I demand a refund. Question three. You get a, oh my As goodness. a result of climate change, over 200 the very species green, of green. frog have gone extinct and that's just since the 1970s but what's the biggest threat that frogs face i might not have to guess this one i actually saw a documentary the other day you watch documentaries about frogs apparently yeah, i guess well it was about a lot of different animals anyway i think the answer is disease warmer climates yes, yes whatever 
But if you ask me, the biggest danger frogs face is the French. What? So, put something down <laughs> before he moves on. She says the French, and the only thing I can think of is the French eating frog legs. Which is a very, to me, a stereotype. But I don't think that's the right answer. <laughs> She's not the killer, oh no. She's not the killer, then who is? Let's do diseases. I'll go with diseases. He's not even in the country. So the correct answer is disease. Warmer climates mean diseases can spread very easily. All our answers so it's not are wrong. just us in the firing line, guys. Well, that was easy. I know. You didn't even guess that Question right. Question four. What percentage of the world's coral reefs have died over the past 30 years? Oh, that's going to be... Toby. Are any of these questions going to be not depressing? I mean, normally just the sound of your voice is enough to make me want to end it all. It doesn't need any more encouragement. Oh, sorry, Mum. What, you want me to do more stuff on the fun side of our planet dying? You know what? I really tried with this, but I can tell by the answers I'm getting that none of you are taking this seriously. So, you know, someone else can do around that. I don't care anymore. What a waste of time. Well done, Abigail. The Auntie June, I... I, I need to... Just something talk terrible to has happened to Uncle Marcus. Oh, what else shit is he coming out with now? Has he got aliens coming <laughs> after him? Yeah, is that aliens it? are coming. What? The thing you have to understand about your dear Uncle Marcus is that he's a nutter. Complete paranoid fantasist. Do you know, one year, he thought his business partner was trying to kill him. I mean, this is about getting this. threats. Anonymous emails, anonymous. I mean, I'm getting sending emails. Sending them to himself. So you've got shutters, put on all the windows, surveillance cameras everywhere. Do you know what happened? Tell me. Nothing. Oh. Obviously. Your Uncle Marcus lost his marbles a very long time ago. Um. He's dangerous. Don't trust a word he says. Oh. I'm actually not going to trust him just to see what happens. But I think we can still figure out who the killer is if we have enough clues. Oh, shit. Fuck. Alright. Can't skip Fuck. this. Then I already forgot to have a skip button. Kid! Can I come back? We need to talk. I fucking oh. lie to you. I skipped it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't trust him. I just don't know what to believe. Believe me, Abby. Please. Leave on the family. Abby, don't do this. I'm sorry. Abby, wait! Goodbye, Uncle Marcus. Is it just game over? It might be game over. Live stream? Yay! Oh, wait. Oh, this is like so sad. A tragedy. The live stream so of the young. funeral. <laughs> wasn't that young. Lottie! Oh my goodness. What? Well, could be anyone in there. You just Bradley, that's body. enough. It's breaking my heart that none of us could be there with him. Yeah. You should have trusted him. <laughs> Why anyone who thinks it's pretty weird that we let her come here after everything she said? We've spoken about this. Abby didn't <laughs> take Marcus's death very well. She's apologized for the accusation. Alien got him. Yep, makes perfectly sense. She went psycho. That's enough, Bradley. Wait, they're talking about Abby went crazy. Part of me wishes I had killed him. Oh come on, stop pretending. You all hated him just as much as I did. You can't tell me you're not just the tiniest bit relieved to see him in a box. June, that is no way to speak of the dead. The name can't Marcus kill him. The nicest man, but has he not suffered enough? What mother would I kill would their child? All that anger that he had inside is what drove him to an early grave. So sad. I still think it's weird she's here. Well, at least she bothered to turn up, which is more than we can say for your brother. Where is he, anyway? So where know. is Toby? I do not care. Sorry for what I said. Uncle Marcus's death has hit me really hard. I know that none of you would try to kill him. Unfortunately for you, Abby, apologies only get you so far. 
Poor Uncle Marcus. At least we got a different ending. Even though we didn't even get the option of trusting him. Oh, they won't even show us the coffin going into the fire! Into the fire? Shit, Fugle. Right, I've paid my respects. I'm going. But she's still drinking. <sighs> I've got to get back to work. <clears throat> Probably like nobody cares but her, Abby or maybe Lohan. the grandmother. I'll give you a moment alone. I don't think that's a good idea right now. Well, all we knew is the aliens took him. <laughs>